There's actually still some hail here on the ground in Bolivar right now. We are at Southern Baptist University and there are just actually mounds of hail. I know this definitely looks like snow, but it is just chunks of hail all together. I'm actually going to pick up some of the hail right now just to show you kind of how big it is. So obviously some of this hail has melted, but I would say these hail, these balls right here, they're a good marble sized. I know earlier Savannah Tennyson and Natalie Nunn were saying that these hail were golf ball sized, but because these are melted right now, I do believe that these have gotten a little bit smaller, but neighbors say that they could actually hear the hail on their homes when the storm hit. We could hear hell really bad. It was sitting in our back door and then we went in the bathroom and we walked back out and the door was broke. Then water was coming through the um, window, the curtains. It was really just scary to see how it come through at us. And then it broke one of my other side windows and it's, there's glass everywhere, all over the whole block. We've been boarding up windows and stuff for the landlord and we're getting it done now, but it's pretty crazy how it happened. Pitt says his family was taking shelter in their bathroom for a total of 30 minutes. And when it was safe, they found damage on the outside of their home. We walked down Morgan Street where Pitts and his family lived, and we found damage on most of the duplexes there. Now, tons of siding was torn off from those duplexes and scattered on driveways and streets. And even several cars had hail damage. A lot of them had dents in the roofs of their cars. There were even piles of hail from the storms in neighborhoods. And as we just showed you, there was piles and mounds of hail at Southern Baptist. Baptist University. Family says there were also some flooding earlier. Neighbors just say it's important to be aware to protect yourself and your loved ones. Trust your gut feeling, I guess, because I definitely, that was the first time that my gut was telling me, like, take, like, go do something. So that's when I finally just grabbed her like a football and we went back to the back rooms. So. Many families say this was the first big storm that they experienced here in Bolivar since living here. Reporting in Bolivar, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.